Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If only we had been the eighth worth team because Montreal jumped up from eight to two. Unfortunately for us, we stay at 11 and we stay at 16. <laughs> San Jose getting pushed back from one to three. Oh no. At least Chicago got pushed back too. That's surprising. They were in two and I can't believe they didn't just jump up to one. Even though it's a 1.25% chance for them to do that in consecutive draft lottery. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself for that happening in real life. But, uh, all right, a bit unfortunate, but we, we should be able to trade up into the top 10. Probably not the top five, but maybe into the top 10. We do have that mid first and the, you know, the 11. So we'll see what we can get and see who we want to target here. Uh, we'll skip central scouting. Player retirements is next. We'll see. It's usually nothing major here in this first year. Parise, Weber, Lucic. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> what the hell? Demers isn't officially retired? Man's, man's doing TV now. <laughs> All right. No goalies. Yep. Pretty basic. Uh, as for coaching retirements, I don't see anything for us. Steven Comfer becomes a scout. No idea who that is. Uh, we got some pre-draft interviews here. Now, we do have some pretty good stuff. I am happy with our scouts. We, do, we have no idea about uh, Temu Yunmela, but uh, <laughs> we brought, where, like I said, we're not going to get in there. I would have loved to maybe grab Chistoff. But yeah, probably good luck moving into that top five, as I said. However, there is a two-way defenseman back here in Sam Dickinson. One year ETA, size and skill, heavy shot, slap shot, shutdown ability, good senses. The defense is going to be, you know, bumped down a little bit because of the face-off rating. So senses and shooting is good. But remember, he's going to have a hard shot, not an accurate one. That's okay. He's not the strongest skater. But you don't necessarily need that. Shoot pinch, but that's not confirmed. But that's something that we, that's, that's someone we can target for sure. There's also uh, Joaquin Wagner, uh, Samuel Hewson, NHL ready, NHL ready. These two guys are uh, EA generated, it seems. So either of them would be pretty good. Winger playmakers aren't my favorite. We already have Robert Thomas, who's a center two-way. Uh, neither are showing. This guy's showing X-Factor. But Wagner is not. Dickinson, I don't think Dickinson is. No, he's not. That's unfortunate. He is an elite, but no X-Factors. There's also Caden Lindstrom here. Of course, Ty Ginla. He's His ETA is a bit further off. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about ETAs right now. Yeah, there's the good news is there's something we can trade for. Uh, Peric right here, it's risky to to take him because that this is the drop off point. We don't know. We know for sure Kivihar used a top four. So there's that. Uh, uh, Yushek. So our 11th pick is anyone from around here. To your ETA. Eh, like, that's not, top fours aren't bad. But, yeah, the 16. You know, you could get a sniper. Ooh. We got a power forward here, top six, but he has X-Factors. Bill Ott. Only top six. What's the ETA? One year ETA. Ooh, man. We might actually want to keep our 16. And I'll grab Phil Ott with it. We might actually want to do that. It's the ETA combined weather stuff. Yeah, he's not elite, but... Uh, we might want to hold on to it. The dude, he's got he's got guaranteed at least one guarantee. No, he's got guaranteed two X factors. Crease Crasher, Relentless. Crease Crasher's pretty good. You could be net front on the power play. 
A plus shooting. A for physical. He's pretty freaking good. Goal scoring trait. Pro release puck protection. He's pretty good. He is pretty good. Okay. Um, now, I want to show you. Well, let me look at the... Uh, I'll show you my pins after. We did find a steal. A winger playmaker. Uh, a steal of a goaltender as well. These are medium elites. So, we have a guaranteed medium elite goaltender we can snag. And that's great to get one in the first draft. Hell yeah. And uh, Sergei Kapitanov. Who's, again, a project. But for that sort of pick, I think you grab him. Which will limit how we're able to trade up and down. Okay, this guy. I couldn't find another low elite, but at least we have one back there. Victor Kuleshov. Likely two-way? Oh, yeah. Probably. Probably a two-way. That's okay. Role player, low elite. I'm okay with that. Uh, Bataglia. I can pin him. He looks pretty good. Now, this guy's a bit tricky. He could be a low elite in the second round. Ooh, with that one year ETA. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be low six or low four. All right, well, that's good. Man, it's going to be hard to move up for that eight now because I got a lot of stuff I want to hang on to. There's a, and then there's a bunch of guys who's in that early second round. With top six, no X factors present by the looks of it. I've had Zether before, I feel like. Yeah. Anyone off the board here? Not really. Okay, so we look at our pins here. Leighton Kuleshov, a second, a maybe low elite. In the mid rounds, we got Stejan and Kapitanov. Dickinson, who we might want to target. I do have this guy pinned as well. Uh, just in case I wanted to pick someone. He's got good ETA. His puck control, I don't... It's at an A, which is kind of weird. I don't necessarily care about that. But, uh... Ooh, never mind. That wasn't guaranteed three years. Alright, well, when it comes to... Interviews... We could figure out what Kaltiainen is, but I'm, I'm pretty much going to take him no matter what. Yeah, I am just going to kind of take them. I don't really know what I want to interview here. I guess we can confirm that goaltender's uh, ETA. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not the best, but uh, it's something. It is three-year. It's guaranteed three-year ETA. I'll do his personality as well, but I... Don't need much beyond that, because we already know everything else. Oh, did I ask him that twice? Yeah, whatever. Eh, gets me out of the screen quicker. <laughs> Well-rounded personality for uh, Ryerson Landers. Landers, dude, what a name. It's so, alright. Three-year ETA starting goaltender. We did have a couple starters already in the system. It's not like goaltenders are a big, big ask for us, but if we have a pick there, we might as well snag them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had Dwayne The Rock Johnson pin just because, unfortunately, he's absolute shit. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, if he was... I would... Yeah. I, I'll probably not take him now. I'll leave him pinned, but... Yeah. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for, like, at least top nine and a role player type, but he's absolute garbage. <laughs> Alright, well, we still got some interviews left. I could get this guy's info, because I don't know what else I'm going to do. But none of it really matters. I'm going to go to unknowns here and see if we can maybe find some other options in that, like, early second. I don't think, I get, but again, I'm not even going to pick anyone besides him. And there's really nothing there. Yeah. None of it matters, so we're done with interviews. Edmonton won the Stanley Cup. So good for them. Boston won the Presidents again. 
didn't make the finals. It was Carolina, so they got rid of the conference finals curse and then got beat by Edmonton. Art Ross went to McKinnon. The uh, Hart went to Pasternak. McCarr got the Norris. Lady Bing to Pasta. Yeah, Calder to Bedard. Colin Smythe went to McDavid. Vesna got went to Hellebuck as well as the William M. Jennings. Orensky got the Masterton. Uh, LA's coach with the Jack Adams. Selkie went to O'Reilly. Ted Lindsay to Pasternak. And he also got the Maurice Richard. So, heck of a year for Boston, except for the end. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard that before. And uh, who was the AHL team who won the award? Laval, that's right. All right. Oh, it's switch. Yeah, it switched me to the AHL. Okay, let's get into the draft here. I would love to try to move up for that eight. I don't know if we'll have the assets or if a pick around there is on the block. That's a big thing. We need a pick on the block, and there's nothing. Jersey should want to give it up. That's the good news. Jersey should want to give it up. Now, we shouldn't miss him by any means. Because it's the 8 pick. The guy coming after that. Yeah, there should be no way we miss him at 8. Question is, do we have the assets? We're going to have to sacrifice the 11. Wait, hold on. I wanted to make sure where Ott was. I think he's in, in range to take him with 16. I just, I just want to be sure. Oh, yeah. He's projected at 19. We'll be fine with a 16. Yeah, we. I mean, we should. <laughs> so the 11 is the one to try to move up for Dickinson. Let's see, are they willing? What are they listed as now? Conservative buyer. They should absolutely be willing to part with it, even though it's not on the block. We're going to throw in the 11 here. We can maybe get away with trying the 16 and being ultra safe to get Ott, and I might do that. Let's just see if we're able to. And we don't have much more. We got tons of mid picks, which is good. Hmm. That guy in the second we might have to move up for. Because we have the 43. And he's at 42. So we're absolutely going to have to move up for him. And I'm not missing out on that. We can definitely get Leanders. We'll be able to get Stajan and Kapitan off. Probably with the thirds. We'll go slightly. Yeah. That's the thing. We might we'll, we can get one of them with a four. We'd have to, if we want to get leanders too, which is, it's not a huge deal, but like they're all in line for us. We have a really good spread on our pins for where they're ending up. We can get every single one of them. And we're gonna. Besides Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, all right, the 50 something. Yeah, those ones in the 50s are, are good to give. These ones are good to give up. So I'll try it with the 16, and again, this is just to be ultra safe. We'll give the 54, because that's no man's land. The 62 could come in handy. And they're both kind of the same. We might as well use the one with slightly more value. Okay, they made the pick. Unilow is an elite power forward. All right, let's try to move for this now. I also could wait to be sure. Ottawa's not going to be willing to give it up. Are they? This would be safer. All right, they're also listed as a conservative buyer, actually. So, 16, 54. No. This is the safer option, though. Again, it is off-season. They want Letty. They want Letty? I'm going to throw Letty in there for sure. We were going to get rid of him in the offseason anyway. Might as well kind of use it now, I would say. Yeah, I I could get I could I can get behind that. Okay, they'd have too many skaters. So we'd have to take back a skater. What do they got in the way of defense? Does Letty help them? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's their top four. They'd be... They kind of actually don't need them. Are they losing anyone? 
They might, yeah, they're probably, yeah, they're probably gonna let go of Brandstrom. Sanderson's resigned, but they let go of Brandstrom. Letty does help him. Issue is their cap. Yeah, it does help him. I mean, it says they want him, so. Yeah. Let's take someone back. We can, I guess we can, well, now Brainstorm actually has value. Let's just take some garbage guy back who's got one year left. Jacob Larson. Um, this guy. Yeah, they want to give him up, so that's probably the best bet. Just to help with the, uh, yeah. You know, and I, I, I honestly, I might be able to get something else here. Ooh. Could we also add a pick swap in here? We could kill two birds with one stone in this trade. Let's take their 38th overall. Oh, crap. We're going to run out of time here with the 40... For our 43rd, we add the pick swap in. And... Damn, I was really hoping for a three. There's no way we get that second. I want something else, though. I want another pick. Can maybe get two threes from 26 and 27. No. I'll remove the 26. There you go. All right. Not too bad. We got a little something extra in that trade. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. I'd say it's a pretty good deal. We moved up twice and we're a bit safer with the seven than we would be with the eight not that i think anything there's really was no pro way he was gonna get pushed to that way but yeah i'm just playing it ultra safe and hey you never know with the seven maybe someone else better is available i highly doubt it the defenseman's already gone the only other options wagner none of them Yeah, I don't want to go Houston. I don't like winger playmakers. He, he probably has decent face-offs, but he's out of position. You can't change people's positions. Just dumb. So we're probably just going to snag Dickinson. Hopefully he develops X-Factors. I mean, he should get good enough. He's got... It's one year ETA. It's not the best. But that that should be our guy here. No, one, It's not like anyone else around here had like X-Factors that were guaranteed at least. The only other guy who has a guaranteed X-Factor is Phil Ott, who we're going to get with our 11 pick. Yeah, and I'm just and I did held on to that eleven just to be ultra safe for Phil Ott because he's the only one around here with those X factors. He's got one year ETA. The ETAs are really good. They're really really good, and that's what we need right now because this is going to be kind of a it hopefully could be kind of a short rebuild, right? We're gonna unload some contracts in this off season, get some maybe spot fillers. And try to turn things around as quick as possible with Robert Thomas and Cairo. And that helps us not need as much in the coming drafts too. So really, this could be very, very quick rebuild. If we play our cards right. Anyway, let's start moving up here. And you got Berkeley Cat into San Jose. Uh, Lindstrom went to Chicago. Calgary. Yes! <laughs> Ah, uh, you know what? I'm happy. Ty Yaginla goes to Calgary. 70 overall, high top six. All is right in the world. Uh, they got Houston, who is, to be fair, great. 79, meet him elite. Yeah, he could have played center, but I, I just hate that you can't change positions with people. Okay. So we do still have an option to get Wagner instead. But again, we already have a center two. He's going to be better. He's going to look better than Dickinson is. But Dickinson's going to fill a bigger need. Yes, we have defensemen, but they're all older. And yeah, we need we needed a defenseman right here. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys my reasoning behind this. Because we just don't have anything in the way of defensemen for the future. Yeah, right now, sure. But it's not like they're amazing. Krug, Pareko, Falk. All above the age of 30. Krug v quickly approaching getting out of there. Like, the contracts are awful, too. We need to shed those. And uh, in the way of guys coming up, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
So defensemen are our biggest need. We got to get one. So that's what we're doing. We're going to grab Sam Dickinson here. Snag him, 74, medium elite. Again, yeah, the accuracies are going to be lower, but his defensive stats are good. Okay on the offensive side of things. He's not a bad skater. Good discipline as well. We'll see how he develops, but that's who I wanted right here. For sure. And Jersey's going to get a great pick because of it, so be thankful I didn't trade for your pick, Jersey. Because there you go. You get a... not. Oh, another center, of course. <laughs> New Jersey. Uh I get a he sure clone. All righty. So our next pick is the 11. Let's see what else went here. Kivi Haru Perrick. Okay, he was, yeah. So he was a top four. He's an OFD, sure. No X factors, though. Not awful. But not what we needed. I'm glad I didn't just blind pick for him. Or was put in a situation where I had to. Not that I think I would have been. All right. We're just gonna grab Phil Lot here. I think he's the I think he's I think he's BPA in this position. So we're doing it. Phil Ott 75. He's actually better overall than Dickinson. He's only top six, sure, but he's got those X factors, man. Crease Crasher and Relentless. And that is huge for the stage in the draft. 80 and 80 for awareness and passing. Defense is a bit lower than I thought it would be. Look at that shot, though. Absolute beast mode of a shot. He might even be able to make first line. And he might get a, you know, potential change. You never know. That happens, man. It happens. But pretty solid 11th overall pick here. I will say. I like it. That is it for our firsts. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone that I'm targeting. I'm, I shouldn't be. Our next guy coming in, Central Scouting says 42. Our scout says around 43. And we have the 38 pick now. So we should absolutely get uh, Vili Kaltiainen. And this is another defenseman. Might even be an OFD. I don't know. We don't know much about him. Like I said, I'm picking him anyway, no matter what. And he could play... Never mind, he's only lefty. Sorry. For some reason, I thought he was lefty slash righty. Either way. Uh, yeah, it's another lefty, but we just need defenseman. So I'm 100% grabbing him. We could just go up to that next pick. I will go and look back at what else went. Okay, good. He didn't go, like, wildly off the board. Which is good for us. Let's see what else went in that first. Uh, yeah, Wagner. So your check. Emil Hemming, pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. No, no jumps. Actually, they're wow, they're all top fours and sixes. No top nines. Jeez, pretty deep first round. And then even into the second round, they're all sixes and nines. Okay. We were, he is scouted recently. I don't think this guy should be like a low four or anything. I am slightly nervous, but with the one year ETA, man, I just, he's got to be a low elite, right? So I'm just going to grab him, not think about it. Just go with my gut. And indeed he is that one year ETA is a bit off, but that's, he might be like right on the cusp of it. That's more of a two year ETA, but Hey, low elite two year ETA guy here. No X factors. And he is indeed a two way. Built pretty well for it as well. Yeah, a bit lower on the awareness, but that's okay. At least on the offensive side. Defense is great. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, and he's 6-1. I love it. I'm loving it. That's a, that's a fantastic pick for us. And we have one more six, or two, but it's pretty, yeah, it's way back here. It's pretty much a three. That's what, the 60-something? Man, with how this went, maybe... Okay, no, yeah, it goes back to the nines here. So, yeah, that 50-something, we, we, we were more than right to trade it. Yeah, we were more than right to trade that pick. That was indeed no man's land. All right, so, got the 84. 
Then we got some threes. So 80, the next three, 84, 125, and 145. 84, 125, 145. We can probably go 62. I mean, fuck, we can take a blind pick here, but I don't think there's much use. Could get him with the next pick. I don't think there's much use in taking a blind pick at 62, though. There's probably not much use in taking blind picks anywhere. Hmm. So really, we can get them with one, two, three. Or... Yeah, we'd have to go one... Two, three. We can take a. We could take blind picks at sixty-two and eighty-seven. To be fair, I don't know what the point of that is, but I guess we'll find out. Let's see what else went here. Yeah, not a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, it goes to the top nines and such as we expect. There's a top four in there, but he was way, way earlier. If there was like a good ETA, even for a medium top six, I would take it. But I highly, highly doubt there's going to be. Eh? Oh, he's an OFD. That sucks. <laughs> I was like, wait. Nope. Four year, yeah. Could take a blind pick on this goalie. This guy's a low. Ooh, wait a sec. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's just baiting me with that X factor. But I haven't seen any other lows around here. Do I take a risk? Man. Ooh. Might have leadership. Oh, he does have leadership. Like, we already are going to get an elite goalie, but... There's no way this guy is elite, right? I don't... He He's in the no man's land. I normally wouldn't take one here. I don't think he is. It's it's baiting me with that three tick X factor. He's not gonna have an X factor. He's not gonna be a low elite. I'm gonna stick with my gut here. I think I'm gonna blind pick this goaltender. That guy's real. McGratton is not. So I think we snag him here and then get the starter. We're gonna get a lot of goaltenders, but that's what we get. This is always trade value. This isn't a draft glory. And hey, if you develop multiple good goaltenders, all the more is all the more is better. You can trade one for a a good price. Got him. Medium elite guarantee here in the late second. Not the greatest, but that's a medium elite goaltender. Won't complain about that. And our next pick will be the 75. Well, we'll grab the guy projected at 84. And then we'll grab with the next two or close to that. The other two dudes. Nothing special. I don't even see... Okay, where'd the guy, the low guy go? I don't even see him. Where is he? Huh. He hasn't gone yet, I guess? I'm not, still not going to take... Okay, there he is, Glebov. I'll be I'll be upset if he is a low elite. I highly, highly doubt it though. I just really doubt it. I'm gonna take the guaranteed Leanders guy. Simply because of his ETA. Yeah, he's only starter, but he's got three year ETA. That's essentially two years shaved off. That kind of makes up for the potential differential. That rhymes. We're gonna get Ryerson Leanders here. 64 overall. Medium starter, again, not awful. I'd really want to see this guy. Come on. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was a low six. And no X factor. It tried it tried it tried to sucker me in. It tried the game tried to sucker me in right now. No, no, sir. No, sir. Alright, up to the 87 here, which is still in this round. Nothing else special go wow, 7D rip. Uh so the next two guys are 125 and 145. Which we can get with the next two picks. We can take another blind pick here. But 
Only two picks after that. We might want to go off the board. Because... Mr. 181. That's exactly why. I think we're just going to go in order here to make sure we, we have four dudes left. We have four picks left, right? What do we have? Five. Well, four in the range of what we can get. Ah, that guy could get it, but I let's let's not... Yeah, we'll miss out on the guy at 180-something, unless I move these two and move up, and I could, but... I, I don't think there's any reason to... To not just pick pick our pick our guys right here. I'm not seeing too much in the way of potential steals. And in this first year, you're not going to see that. So we're just going to go in order. We're going to grab a Capitan off here. 125, medium elite. Let's not risk him going at any other point. There he is, 48 overall. Winger playmaker. Pure project. Roll the dice, see what he becomes. The 107 is next. Low 6. Ooh, I actually would have taken him. Grinder. 67, low 6 grinder. Absolutely, son. Could be a fourth liner right there. <laughs> All right, and... Oh, we already saw that part. Yeah, nothing special. Not at all. So I'm not I'm not concerned with missing potential blind picks here. I don't think there's going to be much. And we haven't seen a thing yet. So now we're going to grab Stajan. That's two medium league goalies in the same draft. Along with a three-year ETA starter. We should pretty much be set. It's amazing that we got these goalies here in the first year. Because that gives us the most time to develop them. Which is, it's tremendous. Alright. Stajan. 47. So we got a 48 and a 47 medium elite. Two chances for one to shoot up in development. That's all we need, man. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. I've checked so many times. But I always get paranoid, dude. I do so much. I think about so much. I just forget numbers. Yeah, we're good. I'll grab Kuleshov next. Then Battaglia with the next pick. And then, ah, eh, we can still get Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> if we want to. Just to say we have him. I mean, he'll be our meme guy. We just try to develop him. Another, ooh, heavy lid's pretty good. Oh, he's 20. All right, what else went? Nothing really special, man. Yeah. Typical, typical of the first year draft. Uh, this was a tremendous draft for us, by the way, if you haven't figured that out by now. In this first year, this has been a lights out draft. Victor Kuleshov, get on this team. That's a guaranteed low elite role player guy. Of the f Never mind. I thought he. I thought I had him four tick. Oh, whatever. Oh, there's a sniper. We need him to develop a bit more, but he could. <laughs> Damn. I. I thought I had him four tick two way. Okay, whatever. Well, hey, a Russian sniper, man. Let's see what happens with him. Again, roll the dice. It's a lottery pick right there. Well, I mean, a lotto ticket, I should say. Low elites at this stage, but I'll yeah, I'll take it any day of the week. All the way up to the 203 now. See what else went here. Yeah, it's it's gonna be garb. It's gonna did we find the one low elite in this draft? I'm gonna give all my scouts a promotion. Never mind. Skilly. Low elite defense. defense. Yeah, it's pretty good. He might be turning 19 soon, just based on the overall. Maybe not. Could be wrong, but kind of seems that way. And we did miss some in the fifth. So what, two low elites in this draft? No, well, three. And we got two of them. At least so far. Three low elites in this draft, and we got two of them. That is an A-plus draft. And I'm pretty sure we got the only medium. Yeah, we got the only medium elite steal. We got two medium league goaltender. This is a kick-ass draft for the first year, man. A little bit of luck, but I will take it any day of the week. Now I'm going to go for a Travis Battaglia here. Because why the hell not? If there's another low elite, let's snag him. Nah, yeah, low six. Unfortunate, but I had a feeling he wasn't going to be guaranteed. And that's okay. 
That's okay. If there's another low elite that drops, I will look for a pattern, but there is not. Okay. Well, do we blind pick or go for the meme? I don't think we're going to find much in the way of blind pick in here. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Where's Dwayne The Rock Johnson? There he is. Probably should just take him. He's absolutely atrocious, but for the meme, and we'll, we'll hold on to him for as long as possible. There's nothing up. There's going to be nothing else there. So let's take Dwayne The Rock Johnson just for the memes. These are all going to be AHL dudes. Most likely. I'm, I'm going to check just in case. I mean, we even got a better pick compared to what else is being picked right here. So it's not like it's, eh, all right. Fringe starter, but we just got two elites and a starter. So value-wise, it is better, but meh. Cares. Yeah, we, we kicked ass this draft. Absolutely unreal draft here. Insane. Dickinson, Ott, uh, Kaltian, and McGratton. Like, we didn't miss until Bataglia, right? Yeah, we simply didn't miss until Bataglia and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Every single pick was either something that we wanted or it turned out to be amazing. McGratton was a hell of a pick, turned out to be minimal elite. Jeez, you don't see this too often in the first draft year, man. You simply don't. And we only traded once. Part of it was a pick swap. It was great. I love doing that, making, killing two birds with one stone. This is this was a fantastic draft, man. Hell yeah. So much fell into our lap right there. So happy with that. Getting three low leads in that entire draft. We got two of them. That's that's incredible. All right, we're gonna have to get a yeah, we're gonna get an entirely new fucking NHL coaching team, that's for damn sure. Gotta start scoring some goals, because you know what time it is. Time for us to fill out the roster with borderline players. Although we do, we really, really want to tank. We're going to do a lot more trading than anything, but we're going to have to get spot fillers. Um. Okay, a lot of trash ex is expiring. Sammy Blay, what the hell do you bring to the table? Absolutely nothing. Blues fans punching the air right now. Um. Good AHLer, ish. Not even that good. Serviceable, but again, not necessarily what we're looking for. Snively did absolutely atrocious, no matter where he was. So we're just gonna get rid of him. We'll keep some of the guys with potential. Playmaker, meh. All right, well, you know, he could be an HLer. That's an entry level. Yeah, we'll keep guys with potential here. Get you. Get you. It's not amazing what player type is he. His awareness is suck. Still need to get rid of a few people. Get rid of Jacobs. Can get rid of him. He's too low to make to be a, a carry. I should just let go of this guy with the bottom six, yeah. Even though he's a two way, I'm just gonna let him go. We gotta make space. We can let this guy go. Uh, we can let Pack go. This guy doesn't want to come back. All right. He's fine. He's fine, but again, we don't we're not we're not I could actually keep him for a depth piece on my NHL lineup. You know what? Yeah. I need to spend some money too. Let's just bump him up to two mil. We're gonna be getting rid of a lot of money. Uh yeah, we'll keep Paranovich. I'll just give him whatever he wants. There you go, buddy. Oh, no. There's no way I would have been able to keep him RFA, right? 
Or yeah, no, even on a one year, I don't think so. I like Alexandrov. Even though he's a playmaker, he's like a he'd be a really, really good AHL carry. So yeah, we'll hold on to him. Go debt, you don't really need, but again, this could be your depth piece. So I think I'll take him. So we secure our depth at least. We're not looking for depth. We're looking for spot fillers who might get stack growth. That's our goal in free agency. So yeah, we can sign Godet. Goaltender-wise, Ellis, that's it. What are we looking at for goaltenders? We already got four signed. Why the... Mm. Prefer this guy signed. And uh, you know what? I think I free this. I think I free the space up. We can sit this guy, and I can look for a goaltender who could end up better than Ellis. You know, I've already got Hofer, Jarenko. They're oh yeah, we're actually gonna we're probably gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna trade Bennington. You know, what? we could keep him, or I could just look for two new AHL guys. He's not bad, but twenty three seventy four fringe is not making it even in a backup capacity. So yeah, let me get rid of him. All right, done that. Let me advance a day here, clean some of it up. See if anyone rejects. Go debt rejected. I'll we'll have to pay him more. That's okay. I'm going to hang on to him. Give you a one way. We're going to use use depth. So, hey, there you go. All right. Castle. Bennett. Highly unlikely either of these two make it. Skinner's even less likely. And I want some space to be able to sign some guys. Bitten as well. He's just done. So we'll get rid of them. I like this guy. He's still got a chance. Even if he turns into depth. I really like... Kessel simply because of how his defensive stats are. So I, I'll, I'll hold on to him for a little. You know, ooh, the hell does he want a real contract for? Uh, two years. That pretty much takes him up to the end of his growth. Fine. I'll just give him what he wants. It's not like we're going to be strapped for cash. Boom. So 34 total contracts with two possible exemptions. Speaking of which. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, there we go. Uh, Dickinson, where was he playing? Yeah, London. We'll sign him as an exemption. There you go. Uh, Kapitanov, no. Kaltiainen. He goes immediately to AHL. 71 is a bit low for me. He'd be low in the lineup. Cool shop, same thing. Stenberg. Again, mate, I could, but I'd rather just leave him off contract. Ott is 75 on the other hand. With X Factors, he's getting signed. And he's going AHL immediately. Probably to play with Bolduc, because I don't know if Bolduc's going to be ready. We'll see. See how he jumps. Neighbors is nice, man. We're, I we're gonna just hold on to him. He's gonna be a the sick third liner, I think. <laughs> Might even be pushed up to second line, but he's like he's just built well. Solid offense, solid defense, decent shot, solid skating, solid physical. He's just just a bona fide jack of all trades. Yeah, and I think that's it right there. There we go. One more exemption on the books, but some space. Well, I gotta even have we're gonna have even more space. But so the reason I did all this is because yeah, we're gonna try to trade some of these contracts. Not necessarily Kairu, but he could be on the chopping block at age 26. Robert Thomas feels like the only guy who we consider untouched. Did he just gain X factors? Yep, pretty sure he did. Oh, he's even more untouchable now. I mean, dude. 
He's a maybe possible Selkie guy. Yeah, he's a two-way. Yeah, he didn't have a whole lot of points, but he had a garbage can support system. They're both on identical contracts. Oh boy. I think you try I think we trade. Yeah, we're gonna try. I'm not gonna they're not gonna be the Kyrie's not gonna be the first guy to trade. We're gonna see how long it takes to turn this around. Two years is a long time when you're considering windows, right? It, or it's a big gap. Age 30, Robert Thomas, 32, Kairu, or age 32, Robert Thomas, and you think at age 34, Kairu, like he's, you know, declining at that point. Maybe even earlier. Well, you'll, you'll, I'll, I'll hold on to him as long as I can, but guys that we know are going are defensive dudes who are have just terrible contracts. Fortunately, Krug and Falk are not for that much longer. We could, we could convince teams to take that on. Pareko is going to be tougher. But there's going to be some teams that can afford it. Pareko, we can worry about dishing off last. But Falk and Krug have to get out of here this year. Have to. So that's the goal. Our entire defensive core is going to be in, in, just different. <laughs> Our whole, besides maybe Pareko. All right, well, that was it for there. Yeah, I know about the coaches. I'm just getting new coaches. Try to get some new AHL coaches as well. Uh, do I have extensions to make? Not really. Uh, oh, neighbors. Neighbors needs ones. He, he's probably someone I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep. I want to keep neighbors around. We're gonna bump him up until he's just completely done being an RFA. We'll give him one point five because you know what? Three year. Yeah, you know what? Three years. We're going to give him two mil. Just to reward him. <laughs> reward him a little bit. Just for sticking through all this. Nice little sort of bridge deal. And then we'll keep him as uh, RFA too. Which is which will be tremendous. We'll see what he is at the end of this pretty much. So let's do that. No, well, yeah. He'll be 26 by the time that is up. Because he's still got the year. Kropchenko. Man, I don't care about that. Both we're going to need. Keep him as RFA. Sure. We'll give him 1.5. Again, I'm not I'm not doing math on these because we're not, we're not going to be anywhere close to cap trouble for any of this. Uh, Jarenko, I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to hold on to. I want to see. What the hell? He wants real money? I mean, it doesn't matter for this year necessarily. It's a little weird though. Very weird. Fine. I'll just give it to him. I don't care. <laughs> Who the heck cares, man? I mean, theoretically, yeah, he should be probably uh, like a backup by that point, but not that he deserves that money yet. I'm just, eh. I'm not worried about it. Every little bit extra towards the cap floor will help. Okay. So that's that. All the offseason stuff is done. Let's see. Take a look at the free agency class. We're not on the market for big, big names. We're on the market for uh, guys that we might be able to boost into being pretty damn good. We're getting stack growth and stuff like that. Two to three year deals here. Maybe some on one years and get performance boost deadline. So one, two, and three year contracts pretty much here. Interesting. Shea's a guy you could absolutely grab. That guy's tendered, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's though there's there's stuff for us. Potential wise, I will take a better better look at that in the next one. Alright, so that will do it. Let me know how you guys liked that first draft. I think we absolutely crushed it. And uh, yeah, give me your thoughts on uh, free agency and uh, possible, this is important, possible locations to move those defensemen, including Pareko, even though we might not trade him this year, but we have to move Krug, we have to move Falk. Where should we send him? Again, I'm, a, I'm not going full realism mode, but I'm trying to make things make sense more as I, I just, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy that more as I continue to be in a franchise mode guy. So that's what we're going to kind of do and uh, things like that, at least. 
as as best as we can throughout how the league changes and things like that so let me know what you guys think hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one